Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no much, depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news update. You have 48 hours to apologize to Joe Ajeno or Owere Indigenous rulers. Now, the Owere Indigenous under the ages of Doze Mezeowere Association, they say they are giving the most state the most state administrator they are giving 48 hours to apologize to their own son or well son Joe Ajero the chairman or the president of the NLC in Nigeria yes of course uh, last Wednesday he was arrested by protest of Nigerian police during a protest organized by the Congress in response to the marginalization and treatment of workers in the United States. Yes. Now, Joe Adrian was brutalized, blindfolded, and later taken to the hospital by the police agents. Police, police, they were attached to the governor of the United States, this police. Now, the police command, of course, you know, they refuted the allegations. They said Adrian was not arrested, but was taken into protective custody to avoid being lynched by a mob. Which mob? Zodimba's mob. Now, these Owele people, they said, look, they are not taking this thing lightly. They are not taking it lightly. They said, this man is their son. And this happened in Owele. In Owele, it's the land. His own place. He's from Imo State. Not only that he's from Imo State, if I'm aware, and this thing happened in a way, so this is not, you know, a good readance at all. So they're not happy about it. The statement they made, they said, Ozo Demma and his government should apologize. They are giving them 48 hours to do that. Otherwise, say so they face their rot. Let me quote part of the statement they made. Quote, the unwarranted and unjustified attack on Mr. Joe Ajero in Alowere, his fatherland, is a great, great joyous assault against the entire Owere people and an unequivocal expression of Governor Zodima's deep disregard for the Owere people. It is sad to know that the first time a president of Congress will be physically attacked in the history of labor unionism has to be in Imo State, under Governor Zodema, and against an aware son. Apart from the attack being a frontal attack on peaceful industrial relations in Nigeria, it is an indelible stain on the image of a warrior and shows the pedigree and personality of Governor Hobo Zodema, and he has managed Imo State for more than three years. As a people, we want to express anger at the deadly attack against an aware son. In a way, and to express deep disappointment and the reckless manner the governors accepted responsibility for this brutal and brutish attack. We call on Governor Hopuzudema to issue appropriate apology to Mr. Jua Jeno and the people for this brutal assault on Mr. Jeno and deep disrespect on the world people. We give Governor Hopuzudema 48 hours to tender the apologies. The Commission of Police in Imo State has a responsibility to protect citizens, especially leaders of NLC, who are on national assignment in line with the Constitution. There have been several allegations of the Commissioner lending his office to be misused for political vendetta. This is against the Constitution and the Pol Police Act. We call on the Secretary of Police to request the Commissioner of Police in Imo State to identify those officers who committed the assault and battered against the Congress President, particularly Mr. China Samoneri, S.A. to Governor Hopo Zerima, who was identified as the leader of assailants for prosecution according to the law. This is the only part of justice for the Nigerian police to prove to Nigerian workers and the older people that it is not part of the deliberate attack against Ajeno and the older people. At the expiration of the deadline for apology, we will call on the world people to henceforth regard Governor Hopu Zodema as an enemy, as an enemy of the world people. If he does not apologize to Mr. Joe Ajero and the world people, 
End of quote. They said they will regard him as enemy of all people. Yes. Already he's enemy to the Imo people. The governor is enemy to Imo people. Simply. So the action he took against the NLC president, he has separated it. Yes. From the statement of the commissioner for information, Emelumba, and that of the governor. Yes, they admitted that they did it. Yes, they admitted that they did it. The governor said the labor president is playing politics. So because he's playing, playing politics with labor, so that's now we legalize, or we legalize, yes, or rationalize, yes, the treatment, you know, he received in his own state because he's playing politics. So that is the punishment. Yes. So the governor admitted that, look, they punished him for playing politics. They dealt with him decisively for playing politics with the office of the, you know, energy president. Even the MLM also admitted. So these things happen in Imo State because of the kind of person they have as their governor. And when he has been treating people like this, you understand, a caliber of this individual, mm. the national president of the NLC, what about the common man? What about the masses? So people should sorry or have sympathy for the people in Nemo State. Nemo State on a sorry, on a do, on a don't see when, on a don't see hell, why on earth? If a man of this stature, social status will be treated like a common criminal by a state government. Yes, talks by state government, sponsored by state government. How much more are the common people? See, the damn children, the masses. So it's a government of, you know, don't say anything against government. Keep quiet. Use, you know, zip to tie your mouth. Simple. It's a government of autocracy, dictatorial and tyrannical. And so people have seen when for this almost four years. Regime. You've seen it. So when the people said they are going to declare him a personal grantor. But we have said that even people have declared him already a personal grantor. Yes, he's there ruling because he has the police, the army. That's why he barricaded himself with the armor tanks. No legitimacy. No mandate was given to him. You see. So that's why he's struggling to validate his uh, illegal occupation of the government house. And simple as that. So when people said, they will declare him enemy. Even if he wins the second time. They will declare him enemy.